Hello everybody! Pastor June is here. Today we are doing some arts and crafts. For you? No! We are doing it for our mommy. So make sure tell your mom to stay a little bit away because we are going to make something special for our moms. Now Pastor June already made the sample for you. We are going to make a flowers for our moms. Are you guys ready? This is how we're gonna do it. I want you to watch carefully and try to follow and you're gonna make very pretty flowers for your mom. And you're gonna say, Happy Mother's Day. If your dad is near you or if you have your siblings or anybody who could make this flower, you could do that too. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we are going to make a flower like this. So I want you to watch it carefully, okay? So, here we go. Okay everyone, hello. You have come to my workshop. This is called Pastor June Making Flower Workshop. I hope you enjoy it by watching it, okay? The first thing you would see and find in your home, you have to find a colorful markers. You know, I don't know why Pastor June have this, but I have colorful Sharpie markers. If you have a Sharpie, you could bring it out. If you don't have a Sharpie, if you have the watercolor, you know, the, the, the marker, you could bring that out too. If you don't have the markers, that's okay everybody. Don't be sad because if you have uh, the color pencil or What's that? The crayons? You could use that too. Okay, but I have a very nice uh, Sharpie, the colorful Sharpie from me. Hmm, good. Now, I know many of you don't have the origami paper, and I know many of you guys don't have the construction papers as well because you left it in school. What do we do? Uh, Pastor Jun didn't have the origami paper or construction paper. What I did was I got the printing paper. I know many of you guys have the printing papers at home. And I'm going to show you how to make a flower with the printing papers. Now what if you don't have the construction papers, origami papers, or printing papers? What do you do? You could find I got the gift wrap. You could use the gift wrap papers and cut it into the square pieces and then you can make the flowers with this as well and you can make very pretty flowers with this okay and I'll show you the completed one later and I'll leave it on the side hmm. now I got my printing papers out I hope you got the printing papers out too and what you need to do is you have to make square papers out of the printing papers. I will show you how to make them. You fold it in half first. Good. You match the edges and you will fold it very nicely. After you're doing it, this together, you are going to make a triangle. Now, how do you do this? You see this part of the edge and then you will move this corner and then match the top edge. So one more time, here's the opening side, here's the edge, you will match this edge, like this. And, ta-da! Good! If you made it like this, you're almost done making a square paper. Good! After you're doing that, you are going to cut this part. And follow this edge as a line, and you are going to cut the bottom part of the paper. So let me show you, I got the scissor. Now when you use the scissor, you have to watch out because I don't want you to bleed, okay? I don't want you to cut your fingers and then tell your mom, Mom, Pastor Jun made this. <laughs> so don't do that. So here is the triangle. You would follow the edge as a line. You're going to cut the bottom part of the paper. Here we go. Match it. Cut. Now, when you cut it down, don't touch the triangle part, okay? But just to follow the edge as a line. Okay, you're going to cut it all the way. After you cut it, you will see these two parts of the paper. This, you're going to use it later. So you're gonna put it right next to you. Triangle, open it. Oh, you see, you got the square paper. But you're gonna open it one more time because there's one more step that you have to do. You have to cut the center part again. 
Here's a scissor. You cut the center part. Follow the line that you have already folded. Good. Ta-da! You did it! Now this is step one. <laughs> Good job. After you made this square, two square papers, you are getting into tracks. Now, we're going to use one as a stamp and one as a flower. So you're going to leave one on the side. And you're going to make the stamp first. In order for you to make the stamp, you have to make a color. I mean, if you don't want to put any colors into the flower and the stamps, you can make it like this. You don't need the markers, right? But if you want to you know, decorate your flowers and make it very colorful, then you need to have markers and you're gonna color it with me when you're looking on the side already call I already colored my square paper like this to show you this is how we're gonna do it uh, but let's do it together I have the paper and remember this rectangular sheet that we cut it down from original paper now you're gonna open it and the reason I'm asking you to open this is because you need this to when you color because you don't want to make the table messy, right? And since Mother's Day coming and you're making this for Mother, you don't want to make it too messy so that your mommy, mommy has to help you cleaning up. Mommy is going to be angry, right? Let's make her happy. So we have this rectangular paper under of the square one and you're going to put it above it. Now, which color should I use for my stamp? I'm going to use this color. I don't know what this color is, but I call it light green. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you see the triangle part that we folded? We're gonna leave it like this. Good. And we're gonna start from the smaller part and we're gonna color all the way down to the center of this line. So let me show you. I'm gonna put it sideways so I could color it much easier. You're gonna color it like this with your markers. You know what? Actually, I think this is much easier. Good. Hey, you see Pastor Jun is expert in coloring this. I'm amazing. Oh, there's a car outside <laughs> honking to someone. That's bad. You have to drive safely, everyone. Okay, keep doing it. You gotta color all the way to the center. Well, Pastor Jun is trying to make it nicely, but you could color it very fast, faster than Pastor Jun. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. And you see, you have to color all the way to the center of the triangle, okay, the, the square, up to the line. You could go a little bit below the line, that would make it much easier for you. Just a little bit more on the bottom, this line. Yay! I did it! You did it! Good job! Now I'm gonna use it one more time, so I'm gonna leave you right next to me. Now you see, if you did this, that means you are almost done with the stamp. See, I have the other one as a sample, then you're gonna do it like this. You could use any color if you want, okay? Now, in order for you to make the stamp, you have to roll it into very tiny and tight uh, and make it, make it stick. So how do you do that? You have to, you see the color part? You have to flip it, bam! After you flip it from the uncolored side, you are going to roll it up. And how do you do that? You know, when you're when you're bored, sometimes you use your paper, I mean your homework paper, you roll it to the edge, right? Let me show you. You roll it to the edge. Do you see this? The edge. You're gonna roll it, but you're gonna make it tight so that when you make the stack stick. And you know, it will be stronger. So, here we go. I'm gonna roll it. Tight. Roll it. When you wiggle a little bit, it, it makes it tighter. And then you're gonna roll it. Roll it all the way to the top. 
Oh, the, ooh, you see that? You see that green? That's good part. You did good job. Cause you did better job. Okay. And this is where you need a tape. If you don't have the tape, you can use the glue, but your hands are gonna get dirty. So I like the tape much better. So here is the scotch tape. You're gonna tape the edge, and then you're gonna finish the rolling. Ta-da! You just finished making stain. Yay! Good job! And you're gonna put it on the side. Let me put it here. Okay, now, do you remember you have another sheet of the square paper? You're gonna pull that out, and you're gonna make the flower out of this. Now, how do you do it? Pastor June, what's the secret? Here's the secret, everybody. But don't tell your mom how you make it, okay? Now, here you fold it in half again and make a rectangular shape. Hey, I did good, you did good, excellent. After you're doing it, now we're gonna color this because we wanna make it pretty like this. Maybe like this. Now, how do we color it, Pastor June? You have to open up your square paper like this again. You're gonna color it inside of the square paper. You could also color it outward. I mean, if you wanna make it, you know, separate flower like this, okay? So, let me choose the color. Hmm. Since I have yellowish, the pink, and also the purple violet ish. So why don't I make the blue ish color of the flower right now in front of you. Here is the blue. And why don't I use this color too? And then let me use this one. Yay. So I got three different color of the blue. And then I'm gonna color it. Hmm, how should I do this? When you look into this flower, I did the outer part of the flower is a yellow and inside is kind of uh, orange. And outside you see here is kind of violet-ish. Hmm, in order to do this, you see the outer part is the center. And this inside is the next to center. And the outer part here under is the edge of the square. And let me show you how to color this, okay? I'm gonna do the outer part uh, with this color. Okay, let me show you. The outer part, if I wanna do this color, like I said, I need, we need this rectangular paper um, below, and then we're gonna color above. Here it is, we're gonna color it this way. You see the line? You have to use that line as a guidance, okay? So we're gonna color it to the side, like this. And you're gonna color it in the middle. And you're gonna say, Pastor June, you're so sloppy. Your work is bad. Well, don't worry, it, it could be sloppy and it's gonna make it very pretty like that, okay? So, so I want you to color it. I'm gonna do it a little bit thicker. Yay. Good. If you see this, that means you are onto something. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close this. Hmm. I'm gonna make an inner part with the thicker, the darker blue. Here we go. Now, you're gonna color above and the bottom. And you're gonna leave the space because you wanna make the lighter one on the on the bottom, right? So here, whoa, the blue, dark blue. It's not navy, it's a actual blue, I think. Yay! Ooh, good. I mean, if you wanna make it thicker, you could color it again. I mean, if you if you wanna make it really nice, I think you could color it thick. Oh, no white thingy, but I, I like it this way because you know it, it makes it more pretty. I'm gonna do other side. Yay! See, I told you, Passageon is an expert of doing this. You know, when you train like Pastor June for five minutes, you could be professional like me. <laughs> now, I have the lighter part of the blue, and you're gonna color the edge. See the end? Ooh, wait a minute, this color looks like an inner. The center one is very similar, but it doesn't look like it outside. Okay, other side. Yay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it faster. Yeah. You know, by the way, you have to pay for Pastor June because Pastor June is showing you my secret of making a flower. <laughs> okay. If you see it like this, then it's good. Now, 
you have this color paper, right? The, the rectangular paper that you use, you're gonna throw this away, but put it on the side, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we have to cut this so that we can make a pretty flower. And in order to do it, I want you to fold it again like this, fold it in a half, have the color side in like this, okay? In. And then you're gonna grab the scissor. Like I said before, you have to watch out when you cut it. Now, since you colored it, I think it's much easier for you to have the guideline for cutting. You have to cut it up to this line, okay? Now, how are you gonna cut it? You have to have really, really little space in between and cut it all the way. Let me show you first. Let me show you instead of explaining to you. And up to here. Now, you see, I cut it a little bit thinner and then, you know, cut it all the way up to here. You're gonna do this repetition all the way to the side. Let me show you. Now everybody, when you do this, you have to make it thin. Thinner the better, I believe. Ha! Passageon is done. Now when you see after you're done cutting, it should look like this, right? And if you did it like that, that means you did good. Now, in order to make a flower, there's another step. You cannot use it like this. You have to flip it. After you open up the square and you see the color side, and you're gonna make sure you're gonna make, you know, look at the color one, and you're gonna flip it all the way like this now when you flip it don't make a mistake like this you know i don't want you to fold it if you fold it you're not gonna have fluffy you know round shape like this right you make sure after you open open it you're gonna flip it but make sure you look at the edge and match the edge but don't fold it okay good after you match the edge, you're gonna tape the corner, the edge right here. So I have the tape next to me, scotch tape, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna match good. And then I'm gonna paint on the one side and then go around and tape it the other side. And then it will look like this, good. And I go to the other corner and I do it again, same thing. I match the corner, good. Get the tape, scotch tape, and then tape it one side, and then you're gonna go around and tape it the other side. Good, you did it. You're almost done, everybody. It's about 90% of done. Now, what do you do? See the shape like this, because you didn't fold it, which is good. Now you have the stamp ready, and you're gonna attach it, and then you're gonna roll it around it. Let me show you how, you know, how it's done. Now, in order to do that, you need another tape. Bam. Now, see the edge? You're gonna tape the edge like this. And you're gonna have the leftover right here. But this time, you're not gonna go around. But instead, you're going to tape the stem on the edge. So you can roll it really easier. See here? Good job. And I taped it. And then... You're gonna roll it inside. Roll it. Like burrito. Roll it. Good, good, good. Good. And touch the circle a little bit. Good. Roll it. Keep rolling it. And make it in. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Keep it doing it. Roll it. Good. After you roll it, what you need to do is you need to tape the edge. So let me show you. You 
you're gonna tape the edge. Now, I'm gonna have my scotch tape ready. And you see the ending part right here? You have to tape it. Cool. Ta da! That's how the flower is made. Whoa. You see this? Excellent. You see it? Yeah? So you roll it, that's all you did, right? Now after you're rolling it, and then if you want to make it, you know, better, you could widen the flower like this. You just have to make it more fluffy, and you know, you could squish it down a little bit, and then it looks more wider. And here we go. Yeah, you just finished one flower. And imagine if you have like 10 of these, and you could have a massive flower bouquet for your mom. Right? I mean, that's just an idea, and which I did. Now here, you put it in here, here, like this. Good. Like, like I said, if you have the gift wrap, you could do it just like that. But since the gift wrap, some of the gift wrap is pretty, you don't have to color it, right? You just make it, roll it, and it will look like this. And I want you to keep it up. I mean, if you make this and then give it to your mama, I, I, I know that your mom will love it. And just make sure to remind yourself without your mom, you know, mom's love, you cannot eat food and the clothes. I mean, everything, you know, because that's all the things that mommy is doing for us, you know, because she loves us, right? She loves you. So here it is, this was it. And everything is done. And I mean, if you have the cup, Pastor June had a clear cup, right? And what I did is I got the gift gift wrap and then I shredded some of the papers and I put it in here on the glass cup. And I got a bunch of flowers, plug it in so I can make it look nice. And then what I did is, is I got the, some chocolate cookies and the chocolate. And I put it nice this and then put it all together and I made a really nice you know flower cup right you could do that too I want you to make it I mean if you could if you have all the ideas you could make it like that too and I'm just showing you one of the examples okay so after you're done and everything make everything you have to make sure you clean your table if you don't make I mean, if you don't clean your table, your mommy's gonna get angry and she's gonna say, what did you do? Why did you make so messy table? And when she's angry, I mean, you know, you don't wanna make her angry, but if she's angry, just say, here, mommy, I got this for you. <laughs> but just make sure you give this on Mother's Day, right? So you could surprise your mom. Yay. I mean, we're not able to go outside a lot because we're quarantined. Um, at least we could, you know, make a gift like this. That's why Pastor Jun wanted to show you my secret of making a flower. Okay, thank you guys. And I hope to see you soon. Bing! Goodbye!